Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Some FC24 legends return today with Footy's Team 2 coming out in this game. Also, the best of Batch 2. Everything in packs is going to change today. And I'm hoping that with the little bit that we know about today, EA do bring some of the hype back to Footy's. Because guys, let's remember, last Friday was insane with the Kaka, the Modric, and the two Evos that we can do at the same time. And then two Evos dropped last Friday as well. EA got to figure something out today to bring the hype levels back up because it has chilled out it has quieted down in this last couple of days especially in the sbcs so what are they going to do today especially regarding pack luck can we actually feel like we have a chance at packing footies could they turn the weight up on the cards to get dropped today we'll talk about that and more and what to expect on a footies friday nfc 24 if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new now objectives is a place where we need to go and talk about content first from yesterday on Thursday because yesterday we had a new footies champions play objective this is different from the old objectives that we have had for foot champs bonuses you might call them with the player as a final reward and a nation requirement EA basically combined two weeks of foot champs in one here with a team of the season win five and win ten and a festival of football team requirement for win five and win 10 but you can see this objective is out for 12 more days which means this weekend and next weekend league will count for you to play the games to get the Selma Basha footies card which actually isn't that big of an upgrade over her team in the season but it does have whipped pass plus very good card there kind of a FC 24 legend from her SBC earlier on in the year and of course a 96 Marquisio as well card looks very good I mean you have to win 10 games with all Todd's players in your squad so it's not the easiest to do, but I don't know. I kind of like this more than the other objective, in my opinion. Also, instead of having to win 12 per week for those objectives, right? This is only win 10. So technically, if you're crazy, you could get this done in one weekend by playing 30 games and then going 20 and 0. But really, it's going to take two weekends for basically everybody. So you're going to want to play at least 10 matches or win 10 matches with a full team of the season squad and then 10 with a festival of football. Now, a lot of questions right now. What is a team of the season squad look like? Can you use red Tots foot champs cards? And the way that I'm trying to think of it and explain it is if you think about in an SBC, you can use red tots cards tots moments live tots tots plus any version of a team in the season you can use in an sbc i would imagine that in the back end code of the game ea would be using the same code to you know put this requirement out for the gameplay so i think using red tots cards like for me obviously i want to use vvd uh fakir and, and valverde who are in my club i would want to use those guys in an all tots team I think that they will work. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. We'll find out early today. This could be something that gets bugged or is glitched somehow. I could see problems with it, but we're going to find out early because, of course, Foot Champ starts here pretty soon. Now, the second part of this as well, what are Festival of Football players? If you remember a couple of weeks ago during the Euros and Copa America content, we had a Festival of Football Cup. And inside of that cup, there was a lot of different players all released under the kind of season of Festival of Football that fit that cup requirement, right? Greats of the game icons were working inside of the Festival of Football requirement. You've got the PTG cards that should work. Uh, you've got the Make Your Mark cards that should work as well. Basically, the best way to think of it is any of the cards that were released that were Copa America or Euro related should fit for the festival football requirement. The only thing we're a little unsure about are the team of the tournament cards because uh, I believe that in that cup, these cards maybe did not count. They should, in my opinion, because they're related to the festival football, but they might not. So to be safe, I would say make your mark the path to glory cards and the great to the game icons would be where I would start building a team. If you're going to go for that this weekend for the festival football cards, maybe the international stars work as well. If you did like the Rodri SBC or, um, you know, any of the other international stars like Declan Rice was an international star as well. Those I think will maybe fit. We're going to have to see some of those finite details. We're going to figure out later today on Friday, of course, as people start playing weekend league, but focus on the make your mark PTG and great to the game for that because they should work. So that was 
yesterday's content and objectives. Kind of a lot going on there. Also, we'll talk about FC25 in a second. If you were able to watch the re uh, release of the deep dive trailer, there was some inf information and some objectives you could be claiming there as well. Now, we had two player SBCs yesterday. Both of them, once again, continuing just kind of the mid aspect of the SBCs during footies. Desiree Scott, a 50, 48,000 coin SBC here for a uh, five foot one center defensive mid from the NWSL. If it means something to you, do the SBC. It is cheap. Same thing with Landon Donovan. This one was an insta complete for me, but just because he's USA, an absolute legend, and uh, had to get it done. So he's 60,000 coins. He's cheap. Mid, yes, but at least cheap. Now, speaking of SBCs tied to objectives, we had a daily login. Nothing crazy there. The exact same daily login as last week. Even the exact same rewards inside of the objective tab there but that is of course worth it to do every single day that 84 times 10 will be available for us on wednesday from doing all of those doing it five times and then it'll be claimable maybe maybe tuesday i gotta do my math right yeah it'd be tuesday we'd be able to do uh that full objective and get that completed so that along with marquee matchups the marquee matchups this week actually has an arsenal manchester city requirement inside of it which uh if you're opening this 50,000 coin pack for the end reward might be worth trying to do marquee matchups this week with the best of re-release number two coming out the footies team two cards and packs but just check your club for man city players if you have any of them that are tradable i heard they were up in price for that marquee matchups now of course the other big thing that happened yesterday of course was the fc25 gameplay deep dive reveal and unfortunately the only way you could redeem this was to actually watch the reveal live like if you go back and watch the video now it does not count for this objective so I know some people were not able to get it. I mean, you're not missing anything. It's a random premium gold players pack. Uh, but that was there. Also, if you didn't see it yesterday, we uploaded really, really late on the channel. But we did a deep dive video on everything related to this basically essay like this is a really really long set of pitch notes with a whole bunch of information so we took the good stuff out of it so that you don't have to watch you know or read this for an hour or do whatever it's only like a 20 minute video that was just released yesterday i'll link it above right here if you want to check that out after this video go ahead and do so a lot of insight there into what fc25 gameplay specifically is going to look like and a lot of good images were released yesterday through this that really give us a chance to understand what it is going to look like. So that is from yesterday's other video. Make sure you check that one out once again. But let's talk about footies because we are here for new footies cards today. And so are my packs, man. I decided yesterday that I was going to save a few packs because the 84 times 10s, you know, even some of these other objective packs have an 83 20, have an 87 times three for finishing the cup. Got a couple of those reward packs in here as well, of course, with a lot of exchanges. But at this point, I felt like footies team number one, I have no chance of packing Neymar, Putea, Strozinho, Sophia Smith. I've barely seen any of those cards this week, and I'm kind of done with packing the footies re-release cards. I'd rather just wait and see what happens today, and that's kind of where I'm at right now, which is why I started to save a few packs. I know some of you guys might be feeling the same way, but there's not a whole lot of leaks yet for footies team two, except for this. Women's Barca team is coming back to its roots, man. FC24 early doors. Graham Hansen was crazy good. And then everybody remembers the Fantasy Rofo card, one of the best SBCs of the year. They are not only coming, they're coming back both into Footy's team too. Sounds like by this leak, I think they're going to be in packs, guys. I think it's going to be in packs. I would love to be wrong. I would be so happy today if we log in at content at 6 p.m. and one and or both of these would be SBCs. That would be phenomenal. That would answer the question and the desire, really, that we have been wanting is a big-time player SBC for footies. But, guys, we got to be realistic here. It's probably going to be in packs for both of these two cards. We will just have to see, though, and see if EA blows us away today with good content. But those are the only two leaks that we have at the moment. Both those cards are going to be absolutely disgusting. They're going to be millions of coins anyway, if they're on the market or in an SBC. So that's why I'm not getting my hopes up for especially them being an SBC because they would be crazy expensive, but still probably worth the craft. Now, what other cards would we maybe see today, right? We're going to have some icons. We're going to have some heroes. The way they did team one, I'd imagine team two is going to be pretty similar with footies players, premiums, but then also icons and heroes kind of mixed in. Some other icons and heroes that we could see today, no leaks, just 
a guess. I really think we're getting another version of Ginola, guys. I really think we're going to get another Ginola just because he's fit so many Evos recently. And you know what that means. If somebody's fitting Evos, then they're going to have a new promo card out soon because EA always went us chasing the next best version for that player. I think Ginola, Pele, Sawa. I've been saying Sawa's name a lot recently just because I've been realizing that it's, in, it's been since the team of the year time frame that we had a Sawa SBC that everybody wanted to use. It's about time she got a four play style plus card. This could be a really, really fun footies icon. Eto, of course, as well. There's so many other names that could be released today. I do believe that we get some as a part of team two of footies. And then probably just like footies team one, a smaller batch of players between, you know, regular players, icons, and heroes kind of all mixed together. But the real key, guys, the real key is like I felt like I didn't have a chance at packing any of the footies cards. And I know some of you guys did. Some of you got lucky and packed a ribbery. Some of you had a chance at a Neymar and you got some of those insane cards. And that's amazing, right? Let's see. I packed Courtois. I packed, I didn't even pack Sancho. I think I packed Ole and Courtois. And like, that might be it from this team. It was a really, really poor week. Maybe Rafa Marquez as well. Really poor week for me in terms of the footies cards. I just packed mostly the re-released out of packs cards, the footies re-released. Now let's talk about that next. What is the re-release going to look like today? There's a lot of questions, a a lot of speculation as to what EA is going to do. They already released TOTS cards in Team 1 of this re-release, and I'm glad that it's going away today. I've mentioned this as well. I'm so glad that we're getting a refresh of the cards that are coming in packs today re-released because last year the batches were two weeks long, and it just got old really quick. That was a part of what I think made this last week of Team 1 of footies a little bit unfortunate and kind of get old at the end was... You know, we were packing all the same cards from the promos, and of course, the content to go alongside that wasn't the best. So, hoping today that they re release maybe more team of the year players. I would assume a few more team of the years are going to be in today, but I really believe, guys, that they're going to release more team of the seasons. Because if you go down the list and you see here, like, there's, you know, triple threat trailblazers, some of those annoying 85, 86, 87 rated cards that we've been packing now for the last week. I think a lot of those are going to get refreshed uh, today, and they should be replaced by more higher rated cards. Like we don't have that many foot birthdays. We have a couple of fantasy cards, but not many. I think today there's going to be more fantasy cards and packs, more future stars cards and promos that happened after team of the year, maybe even road to the finals. They would re-release. I mean, not that it's, you know, cool to pack a road to the final card besides Tony Cruz really, or maybe this layout or I don't know, maybe one of the other cards that would fit for an Evo. That could be an interesting thing. I could see cards post team of the year being more popular today, but I really hope not for uh, the sake of being invested in team of the seasons and, you know, not wanting their prices to go up at all. Like I want team of the seasons to go up in price this week. And I think they will actually continue to rise in price. Yesterday, they went from like 36,000 coins at their lowest. They were all the way at 40K. Looks like right now they're back around 37 to 38K. 37k so they're down just a little bit but if team of the seasons are more packable today that's just going to make the grind for the whole entire week regardless of whether you're invested or not if team of the seasons are more packable it's going to make everything so much easier because that's the thing right now they keep requiring team of the seasons in all of these different SBCs. So hopefully today there are more of them in packs. I still think TOTS cards will be a good investment because there's so many SBCs that are requiring them. I think they'll go up, but I'm just imagining that when EA refreshed this list today with the batch two, I just think there's gonna be more middle tier to higher tier TOTS cards inside of it. So that's a real thing I'm curious about to see um, how that goes, but I don't expect to see any of the more recent promos, like foot birthdays, golazos, they could be in. I would be really surprised if there's anything after TOTS included in the re-release today, like um, grades of the game, PTG cards. I think it's too soon for that. I think EA know they can kind of stretch this out longer, and I think they're not going to put in PTGs or make your mark cards just yet in batch two. That'd be more like a batch three if there's going to be a batch four, that sort of thing. So that's just my opinion for today, but we're going to have to watch that very, very closely. Now, let's talk SBCs because this is where EA got to cook today, all right? They need to cook. Last Friday, they cooked. The Kaka SBC, arguably, honestly, actually hands down the best SBC of footy so far. With that card, with the position changes, with the stats that he had, absolutely unbelievable. We're going to get another icon today. I would almost be sure of that. Look, Pirlo's expiring today. We still only have Raquel May and Abili 
I think we're going to get another icon of BC today. The question is, who is it going to be? Eto, I'm here for it. Sawa, another SBC, I'm here for it. You know, I would love to see what EA come up with. I think last year on the second week of footies, we had the cover star icons debut for the first time with Roberto Carlos, and that SBC was crazy. So I'm hoping that EA come back to back with two weeks in a row of great icon SBCs. And I would imagine that we're going to get a regular player SBC as well, right? A Modric last week and the Kaká. I think we'll get a regular footies player today and then probably the uh, icon as we already mentioned. We just don't have any leaks for it yet, which is fine. Surprise us. It's probably going to be leaked before content. That is something that happens almost every single week. So I would watch out for that for sure. But again, make it be a high rated card, something that we want to grind for, craft for, that feels worth doing. That's the key. We've said it every day now for like the past three or four days. That is is the key so we'll see what ea deliver there but that's where they got to step up big and the other spc i would expect to come today which actually could have more hype than the first week iteration of this spc would be the batch two guaranteed player pick i didn't do any of these batch one re-release player picks maybe one of them i might have did this spc one time just because there was nothing in batch one that i was so interested in that i wanted to turn in an 86 rated squad to try to pack one of those old promo cards well with more todd's cards out today maybe some higher tier ones maybe other team of the years that you're still trying to chase or at least want a shot at this could be an SBC that comes back today. Probably will be an SBC that comes back for team number two. Now, it might be a little more expensive, right? This was an 86 rated squad, no team of the week, no team of the season requirement. Uh, they might put a TOTS requirement in here if there's a lot more TOTS cards in packs, which would make it a little more annoying, but that would be very, very good for investors in TOTS cards. If they require a TOTS in the batch two player pick re-release today, that's going to help TOTS prices go up for sure, even if there's more of them that are in packs. So we'll have to see what that looks like today that'll just depend on what cards are released in batch two now of course last week as well a big part was evolutions because for the first time ever we were able to do two evolutions and complete them at the same time right that's still ongoing and a lot of us are taking advantage of that also last week we had the footies duo evolution that dropped not once but twice my question is what are they going to do to keep the hype up for evolutions this week because last week was so big. I don't know how they're going to try to top that or even come close to that in the hype of evolutions. But one way they could do that would be release again, a double set of evos that we could do two of. And just like this footies duo evo was last week, high rated 92 overall. Yeah, sure. The upgrade isn't the most insane, but it gives play style pluses and it gives a decent stat boost. And I think if they give us the opportunity to evolve players that are 92, 93 rated once again, maybe with some different play style pluses like ping pass and aerial. How about this time we go finesse and uh, you know, incisive pass or something like that, right? That a more midfielder or attacker related instead of a defender related that or midfielder related like the um, ping pass and the aerial kind of was for last week. A lot of people, myself included, didn't know who sh really to put in this. I wasn't quite sure who to put in right away because, you know, Kimmich already has ping pass. Delic already has aerial. Don't really want to put those guys in. Puteus, does she really look great with this Evo? Maybe if there's an SBC today for Hanson or for... Um, Rolfo, I would consider it, but as of right now, like, no, that's not really worth it. That's not going to make it in my team. So I'm really hoping we get two new Evos today. I like two because, again, that's the whole thing they brought out with this promo is doing two Evos at one time. There's going to be Evos today. Hopefully, it just allows us to upgrade higher rated cards and move them to even more insane, crazy levels. Now, let's talk market a little bit. Of course, objectives, we don't want to gloss over that, but there's probably going to be an objective player today. We had Adiemi last week. We had a lot of player objectives last week as well for the Cup. Uh, right. Of course, a lot of players were in there. The daily play, I would imagine we get a new daily play as well with players in there. They like to just give out a bunch of players, man. I, I would be shocked if we didn't in the next week or two have a cup or have a weekend league re requirement or objective that allows us to play or asks us to play really with a full footies team because they're giving us so many footies cards and that's going to continue. They're going to be requiring us to play with a footies team here soon. The more they put out, the sooner they're going to require it, in my opinion. Now let's talk Mark a little bit because I know some of you guys may be like, Nate, I want to use 99 Neymar or Nate, I want to buy something from Footy's Team 1 that just seems really, really cheap. And I agree with you. Schneider looks cheap. Ramirez looks really cheap. 
Even like Courtois, 48,000 coins, Madrid Keeper. If we get a Madrid SBC, you know what? That card could actually go up in price, sure. Grimaldo, one of the best left backs, if not the best left back in the game. Could some of these footies cards rise up in price? I think the answer to that is yes, there could be some movements. There could be. Am I going to invest? No, not really at this stage of the game because... I don't want to risk it with the players that are coming out today. I want to see what the content looks like. If it's really bad today, if we're disappointed, if we're all saying, oh, this content is mid, then I would look into some of the cards that are leaving packs from a footy standpoint and also from a best of re-release standpoint. Maybe an Mbappe or Zidane. Like this Zidane is incredibly cheap. Like compared to where he was, right? This was a 900k card, a 700k card before he was re-released in packs. And I know a lot of people packed him, but this is a 96 Zidane for 186k. That is going to probably rise up a bit out of packs if nothing else happens. 95 R9. Yeah, that's a really crazy price for an R9 card that's, you know, this of this rating. The other R9 is still extinct at 15 million coins. This one went from 3 mil to 1.1. He could be a card that rises up today a little bit. So, you know, even on a lower tier, this Maldini for 80k is crazy. This Dino for 440k is crazy compared to where other Dino cards usually are. So I would say on the top, middle of the top tier of some of the cards that were re-released, as long as they don't get re-released again, they could actually have a bit of a rise in price. Even a Sancho again, maybe a Kalulu as well. Even Ole could have a little bit of a rise, but there's probably going to be fodder tots cards today that will um, make those cards stay in check a little bit. Just depends on the actual players that they put out. I'm not investing there, but if it interests you, go ahead and maybe put some coins into that. Now let's talk fodder because it's back down. But fodder was so good this week, guys. Fodder investing was so incredible. You can see last week that fodder did really good, and then it dropped off into the Saturday time frame. But last week as well, EA did not drop very many tradable lightning rounds for the footies cards that were released, right? It was almost all untradeable. 88s right now are back down to 8,000 coins. Look at this from yesterday. Yesterday dropped off hard at rivals from 10K to 7 back up to eight, down to seven again. Um, it really depends on the SBC that we get today uh, as to where these 88 rated cards are gonna go. Can I look at the price graph here for 14 days? Last week, these cards spiked at content with the new SBCs that came out and then they dropped. Honestly, 88s kind of just dropped all week. It was the lower tier fodder that did the best, right? 83s, 4s, and 5s. And I think that would be a part of the fodder market I'd be watching today. But I don't think I would be investing unless you just wanted to do a quick flip scenario. And if you did want to do a quick flip, I would maybe look at the 84s and the 85s because if we do get ourselves a batch two player pick and EA do put some nice cards in batch two, that could be the part of the market that moves once again. Again, we're still closely watching team of the season cards. Tots plus, I think Tots pluses are like 31 to 32,000 coins. Yeah, 31,000 coins for these. So they're up a little bit. I think they could go up further today. It just depends on how good the SBC content is. Last thing I want to look at is store packs a little bit and just some other pack code that's been added in. Um, the TOTS provisions pack. I know people are a little bit scared about that. I think that drops today. I just feel like it's going to be overpriced. We'll see what actually happens with that. And then you have your batch two historical on color player pick. That'll be in the store. Footies batch two grab bag which says includes one player from the batch two of footies re-release all items and tradable. That sounds like an SBC potentially, uh, or a free pack. Like maybe they give us, they give us an 85 times three last week. Maybe they give us like a footies batch two guaranteed player this week. Um, I don't know. I think the SBC will be a player pick, not a one person, one player item pack. We'll see. Here's your duo guaranteed pack. It's an 85 times 15 with an 88 times three and then two guaranteed footies week two player items. Th that is not worth it for a store pack, in my opinion. We'll have to see. And then also another guarantee pack, which gives you one footies week two player, a prison pack, which is 30 players from batch two. Not worth it. Um, unless the only way this would be worth it is if you would pack like 20 plus tots cards or maybe 25 plus tots cards out of the 30. And then, you know, we would have to do that math, but depending on how much that pack costs, it would, uh, it would take a lot for that to be really worth it, but that's something to kind of consider. And then some of these packs we've already seen released in the game already. So I don't know, guys on paper right now, it's like ugh, footies. Okay. What you're going to do? Like really the big thing that needs to happen today is there needs to be a great SBC or two 
that are like high rated, craftable, that are big SBCs that maybe seem overhyped and overpriced right away. Like if it's overpriced for one of the SBCs today, that's honestly okay. If the menu grind, if the pack weight is decent with the bats that is out and the footies cards that are in packs, it'll be worth rinsing through 82 plus player picks, trying to pack those cards and then crafting whatever SBCs are out. So the pack weight's gotta be better today for footies in my opinion, and the SBCs have got to be banging. We'll be testing it all at the content drop today in the Twitch stream. That link is down below in the description if you wanna check us out there. We'll be opening all these packs, crafting through exchanges into the 84 times 10s that'll refresh today. And of course, the 82 plus player pick. But of course, guys, if you did not check it out, make sure you check out the video from earlier yesterday on the FC25 deep dive gameplay changes that is right up here. Check that out. And I will see you guys on the stream today. If you guys enjoyed this one, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the count. I will see you guys in the stream. Peace out.